Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alina. I've just finished my shift for the day for work, so this is the evening, and I've come home to a parcel um, to help me deal with thrips. Um, I've been dealing with thrips for a long time, and they fluctuate in how bad or alright they are. And I went away, and I came back, and thrips they took over again and it was a bit unbearable it seems to be managing now and i usually reorder these um predatory mites and they're really useful for compact com calm compacting no compact is it compacting i don't know but fight off threat so this parcel is the ultimate kit from Dragon Philly, who I order from all the time. For some reason, the thing's already open, which is a bit worrying. Thank you, Royal Mail, for opening my parcel. Anyway, so this is Dragon Philly. Amazing stuff. This is the kit. So usually I just get these. This is my first time using the foil packets actually, and I really like them. I usually get the loose, don't know how to say it, predatory mites, but um, I've learned a lot about thrips and the, their life cycle, so it's really good to understand that in how to tackle them. There are many different types of thrips. They go through two young stages before turning into an adult, so you have the larvae, the pupae, I think it's called, and then the adult. The sneeze. <coughs> anyway, I don't know where to start the cycle because there's a point in all of the cycle which you can tackle. Okay, they're larvae, then they turn into the pupae. The pupae drop into the soil, which then they turn into adults to fly around. Adults then will lay their eggs inside the leaf, not on them, inside the leaf, and then they will hatch and then the cycle starts again. Two things I kind of didn't realise until I did more research on it. One is that the adults lay their legs inside the leaf. So if you're trying to wipe the larvae away, you will, but if you see an adult on your plant, there's a chance that the adult has already laid its leaves, um, laid its leaves, laid its eggs in the leaves, which from wiping it and washing it down won't get rid of it. And then the other bit is them dropping into the compost to turn into adults. There's a way to tackle each stage. Um, and this package is a way to deal with it. So, blue sticky traps. I've already got some. And they are so effective. I'm going to grab one. Be warned, they are so sticky and greasy. It's horrible. But, um, and if you don't like bugs, look away now. But this is a trap that I have had up for a long time so it's it needs replacing but look at all that so not only does it get just fungus gnats the the thrips really love the, the blue for some reason so they stick to this as well you can use yellow sticky traps but for thrips they like blue so I love these and I needed more because they're getting a bit gross and I could do with some new ones. So yeah, these are to catch the adults. So they, the adults are flying here to stop them laying eggs. So that's one intervention there. Next is the mighty mites. Now these live in the compost. So that's tackling the second stage before adulthood of the thrips by putting these in the soil and then these will eat the guys in the soil. So that is for the mighty mites. You have the loose, um, can't, I can never say the name, is it um, Ambelisus cumaris? I'm not sure how to say it. So these guys are for the leaves. So these will eat the eggs and the larvae um, on, on the plant. So that's getting rid of them there that hatch and then I've th this package also comes with more of these foil 
sachets. I'm always like curious to see if there's any come out already. But these have been really good because they're better than paper because they last longer if you were to get them wet or anything so they can resist that a bit more. When you're looking for thrip damage, this is a plant example of mine, um, you can kind of see, I can't really, unless I don't know how, you can see, okay you can, you can, you can. I can see it because I'm holding it up to the light but you can't see it. So you see these little dots, circles, that is the thrips um, attacking the leaf to eat the zap or to plant eggs in your leaf. So if you see circles like this appearing on your leaf, just have a look at it because there could be something on there or it's, or it's like it's thin. You might be able to see it better on there. There you go. So you can see where it's been attacked. Thrips also leave black dots. That's probably the best way of describing them. And they are actually thrip poo. Lovely, right? So they leave their poo as well. So you can look for that too. And then they also would leave kind of like a silvery trail of where they've been um, and where they've like munched. The larvae has munched on it. So that's kind of telltale signs for thrips. And if like, also if your plants start having random yellow leaves, not necessarily the oldest leaf, do check it because some plants will turn their leaves yellow in stress from having thrips as well. So that is like my first warning sign of thrips is a plant having yellow leaves out of nowhere. I will, I've still got some of these guys roaming around so I'm going to keep these foil packets on the plants but I'll add more and then any heavy affected plants I'm going to put the mighty mites in the compost. I might be able to spread them across them all but I've got quite a lot of plants to spread across and then the same with the loose predators, the amphalocyst ones. Dragon Philly do sell little boxes you can pour this stuff in. I've kind of made my own to do it but you can also just pour it directly on top of the leaf and it will do the same job. It look a bit messy but if you want to hit the target it's probably the best way of doing it. Blue traps need to go above your plants. They get attracted away. I can't remember how much it said above but on the website it says how high or like the distance it will cover so read up on that as well. I think this package is going to really help combat my frit problem a bit more than it, I have already. I've been on top of it more now which is great because it drives me insane. Oh another thing that you can tell there's thrips is like new leaf we're kind of like they go all like mangled a little bit and they just won't look right. Maybe I could show it on this guy. So you can see like this new leaf has kind of gone a bit weird. It's a bit mangled. Is it would be the right word? I don't know. It looks a bit funny basically. <laughs> Fingers crossed this package helps and I will do an update on it. You can use chemicals if you really want. So you can use a concentrated chemical you add water to to put in the base of the plant and then if the thrip was to bite the leaves then it will get poisoned from biting it because the, the, the chemical will be in the plant system and you can obviously use a pesticide spray but it is important to remember to limit your use on pesticides just because of the environmental damage it can cause and always read the instructions if you're going to use a pesticide to if you use it too much on one plant you're going to kill it that way so always 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 do research if you're going to use a pesticide chemical neem oil i do use neem oil but it's a good thing to remember neem oil is more of a prevent prevention than an attack I mean you can use neem oil to clean them off and it will clean them off anyway but again if there's things already in there laid its eggs in there it's gonna hatch and do it anyway. Neem oil is more preventative for the, the thrips to like fly on and I think they don't like the smell I think that's why it's used so I guess you're breaking the cycle that way. They can also adapt to neem oil as well so it's really good to change it up your method of attack um, and I don't think there's really 
a way that they can adapt to prevent predatory mites because that's just the natural kind of attack like the natural way this would happen so that's the ordeal with the ribs i will give you an update in the near future this i feel like i've spoken really fast in this quick little video but i hope this gives you some tips and new knowledge on thrips and if you have a thrip problem too don't worry we can do this together and we'll get through it it's, it will be fine we will do this i will see you in the next one guys bye me lovers